guys and welcome to another uh, video just made myself some peppermint uh, tea usually you see me drinking coffee um, on this channel but recently I've rediscovered because it seems that I had forgotten that peppermint tea is so good for digestion so I'm head over hill about it uh, so it's too hot now uh, let me just put a little bit of lip balm I'm using this summer Friday's iced coffee, is it? Iced coffee, my god, the smell. See, <laughs> when I'm having uh, the tea, I really need the coffee smell. It's amazing. Uh, I got a, a gift set of three uh, lip balms from Summer Fridays a couple of days ago from uh, Space NK, my favorite beauty skincare shop other than Harrods, of course, and I am obsessed. They had a beautiful gift set of threes uh, that they are um, great value for money uh, because if you buy these individually, I think they are 20 something, 23, 24 pounds, and the gift set of three was below 50 pounds. Anyway, the topic of this video is not lip balms, even though actually I could make a video about lip uh, balms. I'm a bit crazy about lip uh, balms. I have a lip balm everywhere at home, in every bag, in every drawer, everywhere. But the topic of today's video is my favorite and most worn shoes for autumn. Something like a capsule wardrobe of, of shoes. I mean, we can attempt and call it uh, like that. I'm gonna um, break uh, down uh, the shoes categories and I'm going to start with trainers. So trainers, I don't have a lot of trainers, but the ones that I have, I tend to wear all, all the time and non-stop. My latest purchase are uh, these New Balance, uh, which ones are they? Five, seven, uh, four. I really like them. Um, they are, when I wear them, it's as if I'm walking on clouds. I haven't had that experience yet. <laughs> but uh, they are so cushiony, so comfortable. And I've chosen this style in these colors because I like the colors. Very neutral, muted um, colors, easy to wear with pretty much everything in my uh, wardrobe and fair enough they are suede um, and they are not for every day especially if it is raining um, but of course I use the spray to protect them and when it's raining I'm not wearing them as simple as that when it comes to new balance um, I also like what's the style is it the 530s the chunky black and white uh, trainers um, that's the ones that I wanted to buy initially, but I think for my style, uh, the ones that I showed you earlier are a little bit closer. So I wanted to experience this first because I've never shopped New Balance before and then I'll have a think about um, the chunky um, uh, version. So now the second pair that I have in this uh, list and I'm wearing 100% of the time, uh, especially when it is raining and I'm a little bit embarrassed to show you because they are so better and they have already started cracking uh, up. But I'm gonna show you from afar and of course I ensure not to touch the trainers uh, from their sole. Uh, so my Veja. I'm not quite sure which style uh, this is. I'm gonna look it up and uh, tell you, but literally these are the comfiest um, trainers that I have. Of course, they do get dirty. I do try to clean them, but I mean, yeah, they have cracked up, but I don't mind. Size-wise, let me check if they are true to size. Yes, I'm a US 5, UK 3 and they are true uh, to size. I have to, in all honesty, for a better um, trying on experience, I have to loosen uh, the laces uh, quite uh, a lot when I'm uh, putting them on, but that's uh, fine. They are a bit uh, stiff, but when I uh, have them on, they feel okay. Uh, they don't feel 
too hard on my uh, feet or uh, besides just chef's kiss and the last uh, pair of trainers that I'm going to show you is my uh, white pair of Converse uh, the low ones not the the high ones because I think the high ones are is uh, better looking in um, taller girls so I think these flat ones are best uh, for me of course again these shoes are not for these rainy days but when it's not raining and you know it is a false belief that it is raining uh, 24 7 and every single day here in London we do have days without rain and as a true Londoner I tend to check the weather every single uh, moment so I don't go out without having checked the weather uh, first. This goes for the shoes that I'm going to wear, but also uh, for the clothes, how I will have my hair, uh, scarf, no scarf, and so on. So I really like uh, these. They are a little bit uh, low. Um, I purchased them uh, recently, well, a few months ago, along with my New Balance from ASOS, actually. When I first put them on, put them on, I felt so low as if there was not enough space for my foot to go in simply because the last time i had worn this style but in black was when i was around 12 years old at school uh, but once i got used to them i really like them i i wear them with black trousers uh jeans with shorter things in the summer and uh, spring again i think they are for actually three out of four seasons. I wouldn't wear this in winter, obviously, but for autumn, uh, spring and summer, perfect. Mm, delicious. So um, I also have another pair of shoes that it was on my uh, wish list, let's say, uh, but there are no sizes available. And these are none other than, what's the name? The Adidas, the Adidas Sambas. I wanted to get the ones in white, they also come in black and various other color combinations uh, but white was my strongest desire for this uh, style but the sizes are completely gone. From time to time when I remember I do check on um, Adidas uh, website and other websites as well, Matches, Metaporte, but there's nothing uh, left in stock. Anyway, moving on to the second category. Mm. Is this my favorite? I don't know. I mean, I do like all of my shoes. Uh, but anyway, second category is flats. I love flats. I love wearing flats. I think when I was a little bit younger, I really liked high heels as well. But recently, my knees have started to complain. <laughs> so I'm crazy about uh, flats. I'm going to show you a couple of styles. I mean, no, the style is one. The style is this. These are velvet slippers, Mary Jane style, from one of my favorite brands. Uh, I've got these from Matches. The brand is called Vivi Venezia. I absolutely love the style of the shoe, the fact that it is um, uh, velvet, the fact that it feels so light, like a slipper, but it's not a slipper, of course. And they do uh, them in so many beautiful colors and you can just choose your favorite colors and just complement the outfit that you're wearing the other color that i have is this rich uh, blue one like a royal blue one and then i have uh, the simple style which is not um, a mary jane uh, in um, this forest uh, green and I have some canvas ones but these are not for um, autumn so i really like uh, this style i do wear them very often again when it's not uh, raining um, and probably i wear them not to go a long distance if you know what i mean not when a lot of walking is involved because i do feel they are a little bit precious and sensitive but nevertheless i absolutely love them and another pair that i don't have here with me um is these black mary janes from the australian brand empress which they kindly um sent me a few months ago uh, i really like them they're leather suitable for rainy days um 
they're very very soft again very cushiony um, and they can style up every uh, outfit usually I wear them with trousers I think uh, not so much with dresses but with either black pants or any other color pants or my jeans um, or my of course linen uh, trousers but these uh, are not for autumn another style of shoes that I would love to get is just classic ballerinas but I haven't found exactly what I'm looking for I mean I do love the Chanel ones but do I love the price mm, maybe not so much um, so food for thought for just a simple either black or two-toned uh, leather ballerinas they have to be leather because uh, sensitive and fabric shoes I have so I want something uh, more durable yeah. um, in between categories I'm having some sips of uh, tea and now I'm ready to move to the next category we're staying again into the flat zone but now I'm going to present you flats with a little bit uh, of twist and these are none other than loafers I just love loafers and I am someone who likes to have some masculine um, uh, injections to my style because all too feminine I think it's a little bit uh, too boring and too girly for me so I have two pairs of loafers that I want to um, show you I've got my fancy ones more designer ones more expensive uh, ones with uh, a nice twist in the design these are from toads and they have this beautiful croc detail that i think when i wear them it just elevates the, the look a little the bit uh, more because of the croc detail and the off goldish tone of the buckle i love them i've had them for a few years now they're keeping up well i think the fact that they are they have this croc um leather that really helps the leather to stay intact for uh longer and i absolutely uh love them i got them on sale at harrods at a fraction of uh, their price and this is one of the really really good purchases uh, that i've um, made at harrods in all honesty now the next pair of loafers is something that I purchased recently and I have unboxed it uh, with you in a previous uh, vlog. Again, leather loafers, but here we have super, super soft and smooth leather. These ones are from H&M. They do have a buckle. Uh, the tone is like silvery or it's very off of goldish one. But from afar, it looks like silver. I don't know what you can see. So it's a combination. It's very subtle and they're very, very soft. And when I wear them, the buckle does not hurt my foot, which is really, really important. Uh, have I worn them outside? No, just for some videos that I have filmed. Oh my God, the smell of leather. I absolutely love them. I'm going out uh, tonight for dinner with Kate. So I don't know what I will be wearing maybe and maybe I will wear them I have to check the weather first though and the question now is am I done with flats well I guess the answer is no not yet no the next category is well these shoes are a category on their own and they are none other than Birkenstocks if you've been around my channel if you watched a few of my videos especially shorts uh, you might have understood that I'm a little bit crazy about Birkenstocks but in all honesty I don't have that many uh, pairs I think I have only two yeah the two that I have in front of me I want to get a new pair but let's see so the first style that I'm going to show you are uh, it's a little bit more appropriate for autumn but also uh, winter they are the Birkenstock Boston's let me check that I have my uh, facts right voila are these ones so black suede and we have fur inside when I went to Harrods to get these um, 
pair of shoes. I really wanted the simple uh, Bostons without the shirling inside, but they didn't have them. So they only have these ones and I thought, you know what? It's fine, I'm gonna get with the shirling. They were a little bit more expensive, but it's uh, fine. I really like them. True, are they true to size? Well, not for me because I'm usually size 36 and in Birkenstocks, in all of the styles, I am 35. Um, so I have started wearing them lately, of course, with uh, socks, uh, because I don't know, I feel better when I uh, have socks uh, on when I'm wearing this style. I really want to get another color. Of course, top would be uh, my first uh, choice, but there's nowhere to be <laughs> found. And I think the next color that I love is in like a dark olive green that to my eyes it feels like a neutral um, color without being taupey of course or beigey but that's a good one as well so yeah these are the um, two other colors uh, that I love and the other Birkenstocks, Birkenstocks that I want to show you I'm actually wearing them <laughs> I'm always wearing them and of course with socks uh, are my black Arizonas. I absolutely love them. I've had them for a few uh, years. Yes, they have started showing um, uh, a little bit worn out, but it's fine. Um, I really like them and I wanted in the summer, um, I wanted to get the suede Arizonas, uh, beige suede Arizonas. But again, when I went to Harrods, they didn't have um, my size, which was a bummer. And I remember instead I purchased the silver Arizonas for my sister, Kelly, uh, which she really um, wanted to get them. And yeah, Kelly, I hope that you've been uh, wearing them and you have been enjoying them. So these are my Birkenstocks. And uh, the next category is, I would say, well, can we include a category with just one pair of shoes? I mean, why not? The next category is Uggs. So I'm going to show you the Ugg slippers that I currently have. Uh, and I, of course, wear at home. I don't go out uh, with this. Uh, are these ones. I don't know what's this style uh, called, but again, they are furry and they are suede, this beautiful brown, it's not beige, brown suede, um, perfect for these cozy uh, days and nights uh, in. Uh, I think the important thing uh, for all the suede shoes is to uh, purchase uh, the uh, spray protector, protector spray for suede and just Spray them uh, just to avoid any disappointment. Now I included Uggs, even though I just have one pair. Well, I used to have another pair of these short boots that I have given to my mom because I wasn't wearing them that much. Um, but I've seen this new style that it is even lower, or um, there's also another style that looks like a slipper but it's not like the ones that I show you. It's more of a shoe, but it still looks like a slipper. And I really like uh, this style. I'm gonna check uh, at Harrods to see if they have them in stock and in my size. And this is just food for thought. I have to say that the very reasonable shoes category for autumn and for an autumn capsule collection would be boots. But in all honesty, I don't have any boots. I used to have some booties, but I've given them, given them away to charity and I haven't had the time to purchase anything new, even though I do have some styles on my mind, but I haven't purchased anything. I do have a pair of uh, Celine boots, but they are, I mean, the heel is quite high. They're beautiful, but I don't wear them that often. So uh, I chose not to include them in this um, video. Uh, if I purchase any boots, I'll make sure to incorporate them in my uh, outfits, little videos that I do uh, every month for you guys. And one last category is just heels. I mean, I do have, in all honesty, a lot of heels. 
I don't wear them that often. I usually uh, tend to reach out to my heels collection when uh, we have a nice date night uh, with Kay and I just want to either dress a little bit smarter or I'm still wearing my normal clothes but I just want to elevate the outfit. Um, in this category I'm just going to present one style of shoes which I think is beautiful and it can go with every single outfit that I could possibly create for autumn and these are I have them here they're still in uh, in their uh, what is that it's not a case Sue protection pouch <laughs> uh, voila these are my favorite velvet Prada heels Ooh, beautiful so beautiful the velvet feels so luxurious I've worn them a few times and the heel is intact really really nice let me just remove uh, this it's leather inside and they look like new and I love the little Prada logo uh, underneath are they true to size well no I think a lot of Italian um, brands, in a lot of Italian brands, I'm not a 36, but I'm a size smaller because they tend to be quite generous. So for this uh, Prada heels, I'm 35. A very proud, proud purchase from Harrods quite a few years ago. I think I've had them for at least, I don't know, four years maybe, uh, something like that. And they come in the beautiful uh, baby blue box. Um, and they have these little satin pouches, which are amazing. Very, very nice uh, shoes. Uh, I do also have a pair of suede gray pants from Gen Vito Rossi, another brand that I love. And they do um, simple pants in every single color that you can imagine, either in leather or suede. I'm a sucker for suede, even though I know it's sensitive and you cannot wear it um, under all weather conditions but still I feel that the suede and even the velvet it just gives something else to the outfit again whether you're wearing I don't know like a nice silk dress or something in cashmere or even if you if you wear just a black pair of wool trousers a, a thin sweater and your blazer um, yeah, I do prefer these kind of fabrics to just leather uh, pants. I do love leather when it comes to sandals. Uh, again, Gian Vito Rossi, they have this beautiful style. It's a very old style, Portofino sandals. And for these, I do like uh, the leather uh, detail. And voila, this was uh, my autumn capsule collection for uh, shoes. Uh, as I said, I have a, a lot of <laughs> shoes, a lot of shoes. You should ask Kay about that. Me and shoes, just on another level. But anyway, I only wanted to include in this uh, video the shoes that I really, really uh, wear. And I do wear them a lot, just not the one uh, off. So we started at the beginning with the trainers, the flats, which seem a little bit you know basic and boring but this is how my wardrobe is at the moment shoes we covered shoes in this video and then when we uh, go to um, uh, clothes I have I would say spiced up my wardrobe but on a different level because it's all essential basics capsule pieces classic pieces uh, nothing wow or you know uh, blow your mind <laughs> off completely but this is where my style is going um, at this uh, current uh, moment and the important thing for me is to have pieces that I will wear for a long time and pieces that are easy to uh, mix and match together and another important thing is the moment you open your wardrobe what you see clothes shoes not to give you a headache but to just make it easy for you to put an outfit uh, together and be happy with uh, the outfit that's 
how I have things on my mind, that's how I think. Um, and um, these are the kind of things and styles and looks I present in this channel. So if you have enjoyed what you've watched uh, so far, uh, and first of all, thank you for watching until this uh, point, uh, give this uh, video a like uh, so as to help the Argo algorithm to push it to more people like you and subscribe if you haven't uh, done uh, so so as to encourage me and make me bringing you more content like this guys as always thank you so much for being here and watching this video i hope i'll see you in my next video and until then a big kiss to all of you ciao guys time for some more peppermint tea